Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here. In this session, we will talk about second method of inter-VLAN routing and that is inter-VLAN routing by using sub-interface. This is also called router on stick method of VLAN routing. In our previous session, we saw how to configure inter-VLAN routing by using physical interface. But that method was not suitable for large number of VLAN traffic routing as each VLAN will require a separate physical interface from switch and router for routing. But by using sub interface method, instead of separate link for each VLAN with router, we will use sub interface of router as gateway for all VLANs on a single physical interface. And a single physical interface from switch for trunk link for the VLAN routing. Trunk is an encapsulation method or protocol defined by 802.1Q standard which carries different VLAN traffic within a single link. So let's proceed with the practical session. So what we have to do in our practical is we'll have to configure a uh, different sub interface in our router side on a single physical interface and we'll have to configure an interface on switch as trunk link with 802.1Q encapsulation method. So here we are as you can see here we have three different vlan that is vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 we have a central switch where we are going to configure our vlan and here is your router which will route your vlan traffic so let's proceed for the practical we haven't configured anything right now in this switch you can verify so vlan brief as you can see here we have only one default VLAN and by default all ports are assigned to VLAN 1. So we are going to configure VLAN 10, configure terminal, VLAN 2, this is the VLAN ID. Just remember it will be important in this session and the name of VLAN 2 will be VLAN 10. So this is the name not VLAN number. So now I'm going to configure third VLAN and that will be VLAN 20 and again VLAN 4 with the name VLAN 30. So we have configured our VLAN just verify the VLAN so VLAN brief and we have three different VLAN that is VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 and the next thing we will have to configure interface for the VLAN. As you can see here, we have added some PCs on VLAN 10 and that PCs are connected with one, nine, 1, 2 and 3 port of switch and further VLAN 20 is connected with 9, 10 and 11 and VLAN 30 using 17, 18 and 90 to connect with the switch. So we are going to assign these ports to respective VLANs. What we have to do here is configure terminal and I'm not going to assign port one by one again. I will use command interface range fast ethernet zero by eight. Be careful about the interface right now, zero by one to eight. Okay, so what I have to do here is I'll use command switch port mode access. This will be the important command. And the second command will be switch port access VLAN two. So I have assigned all one to eight number of port of the switch to VLAN 10. Exit now. Now the second VLAN that is VLAN 20. So what I have to do here is interface range fast ethernet 0 by 9 because I have already assigned first eight number of port to VLAN 1, VLAN 10 sorry, VLAN 10. So I am going to assign port number 0 by 9 to 16 on VLAN 20. So the command will be switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. Sorry, this will be VLAN 3. Okay, and again after 17 to 21, switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 4. So now verify your ports. 
so vlan v and as you can see here we have vlan 10 and port number 1 to 8 is there and vlan 20 having 9 to 16 number of port and vlan 30 is configured with 17 to 21 number of port they are configured with dif different network address as you can see here the first vlan that is vlan 10 is using 192.168.10.0 slash 24 vlan 20 are VLAN 20 using 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and VLAN 30 is configured with 192.168.30.0 slash 24. So they are in different VLAN as well as with different network address. So they will not be able to access resource from each other or they cannot send traffic between different VLAN. So what we have to do here is we'll have to configure our routing device so that your network traffic forward through your router to another VLAN. So we are going to configure in sub interface in this router. We haven't configured trunk link right now here. We are starting from this router. So what I have to do here is no enable configure terminal. I have configured, I have connected with fast ethernet zero by zero. So I will configure interface fast ethernet zero by zero dot 10 whatever number you can use to create sub interface so for creating sub interface you just have to add a dot and number of in sub interface whatever number you can use here but for avoiding confusion i have given the number 10 for first vlan okay so i am in sub interface now so what I have to do here is, so first of all, I'll have to define here encapsulation method will be dot one q, and this interface will use by VLAN two, and this one is VLAN two. When we have configured our VLAN in our switch, you can verify it here. As you can see here, our VLAN two is VLAN ten. Okay, so now I can assign IP address on this interface, but uh, during configuring your sub interface, make sure that your inter physical interface is in shutdown status, as well as there is no any IP address in your physical interface. So I'm going to assign IP address on this sub interface by using command IP address 192. This will be the gateway for 192. Dot 168 dot and this interface will be the gateway for VLAN 10. So the IP address will be 10.1 with the sub response 255.255.255.0. As we have already defined here, the gateway address must be this one. Okay. Exit and again interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 20 i'm creating second sub interface for vlan 20 and encapsulation will be vlan encapsulation will be dot 1q and the traffic from vlan 3 will handle by this interface so the ip address will be 192.168.20.1 gateway for this VLAN 255.255.255.0 sorry 0 exit again and now for third sub interface interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 30 encapsulation will be dot 1q and the traffic for this interface will come from VLAN 4. Okay, exit and now you can enable your physical interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and it will enable your all sub interface no shutdown. As you can see here you can verify the interface status 
by using so it in brief uh, you have first ethernet 0 by 0 dot 10 with the ip address this one and 0 by 0 dot 20 with this ip and 0 by 0 dot 30 with no ip sorry we haven't defined ip address for fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 30 so we'll have to assign ip address for that interface configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 30 and that will be the gateway for vlan 30 so the ip address for this interface will be 192.168.30.1255.255.255.0 okay exit and exit so let's verify so running configuration and now you can see here that our physical interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 is not having any ip address but fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10 is enabled with encapsulation dot 1 q for vlan 2 this is the vlan id and the ip address for vlan 2 is this this one will be the gateway and interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20 is also enabled with dot 1 q and it will handle the traffic of vlan 3 and this is the ga default gateway address for vlan 20 and here is your fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 30 which is also enabled with dot 1 q protocol and it will handle the traffic from vlan 4 and even the ip address has configured as gateway for this vlan so we have done with router configuration what now i have to do here is i'll have to verify the interface which interface i have to enable for trunk link as you can see here fast ethernet 0 slash 24 which is connected with your router so i'll have to configure this interface as trunk link and one more thing here so vlan brief so i'm going to configure fast ethernet 0 slash 24 for a trunking configure terminal interface interface fast ethernet 0 by 24 switch port mode trunk you do not need to uh, define dot 1q protocol because by default it is enabled with dot 1q encapsulation method no shutdown exit exit let's verify the communication now just i'm pinging this computer from this one ping 192.168.30.2 is the IP address of this computer. So let's verify the communication. Okay, so we are getting reply here, and for proper verification, you can use command trash treasured 192.168.30.2. And you can see here your packet first goes to your router sub interface and further that goes to this one. So a single link which is configured with trunk at the switch side and at the router side with multiple sub interface we are routing our VLAN traffic. So friends, this was the method of inter VLAN routing by using sub interface. I hope you like this video. If so, please keep watching and sharing with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Till next video. Bye bye.